Good morning, esteemed professionals. It's me, Purcell and Doll. Hope you are all having a fantastic morning so far. Um, my train of thought just like pulled out of the station and immediately derailed. So that's the kind of morning we're having. Um, <laughs> anyway, hello, Moth. Hello, Lena. Wonderful to see the both of you. We are back with more uh, Harvestella this morning, which I'm very, very excited for. We will be um, probably just continuing character side stories is my guess um, and working on our farm a bit um and and yeah maybe if we have enough food by the end we'll try and tackle the harbinger again but i don't know uh if we will so we'll see how it all go <laughs> sleepy comfy stream 100 percent. yeah it it do be like that sometimes um i have the you're so sleepy valid um anyway i have the caramel apple tea that won the discord poll with me here uh i'm gonna take a quick sippy because it is very tasty, and it will help me be a little more hydrated, which I'm probably not right now. Certified Eper. It's true, it's true. Anyway, hope you all had a good weekend. Um, we will be swapping over to the game screen, because that's a... Hello. There we go. I know my keyboard shortcuts. I promise. Anyway, hope y'all have a good week ahead of you. Hopefully your Octobers are not too hectic and you get some time to enjoy maybe fall weather or like Halloween adjacent activities. It was a nice long weekend, but you're sad it's over. Busy start to the week, so hopefully you can just get through it soon. Yes. We will keep our fingers crossed. One second. Let me check something real quick. Okay, cool. We're good. It's going to get into the 30s there this week. I'm assuming Fahrenheit. That sounds real nice and cold. Okay, what mail do we have? Oh, God. We have a lot. Okay. It's about Cress. Cress really hasn't been looking good lately. I don't think she's taken a break in days. I know what's been going on with the quiet, but she can't help anyone if she keels over. Purcellin, I need your help. Please say something to her, or even just show your face at the clinic. You've got to do something. From Dim. I'm doing this for Cress, not for you, Dim. Fiasola's memoirs. Yasola is no longer here. It appears that this fact was far more damaging than I had cared to realize. As a result, it took a great deal of time to go through the items she left behind. But I have finished, and I am sorry to have kept you waiting. There is something I would like to tell you. I will be waiting at my atelier. Signed, Hain. I have completed my preparations and am now ready to depart for our next destination. I trust you have not forgotten where that is. Or have you? Well, you are lucky I am a most munificent master. As an act of kindness, I will remind my most scatterbrained minion that our meeting place is to be Chateola. Write it down on a napkin or something so that you do not forget again. I will await you there. Yours truly, Unicorn. So we're doing that one last. A chance to catch up. Nobody's seen another dragon since Otella left on her journey. Do you think things will finally calm down now? You and I haven't had a proper chance to catch up since all this started, have we? We should remedy that sometime soon. Why not stop by Namiya next time you have a chance? Cheers, Azil. Come to the hideout. I've been thinking, you know, about what I want to do, what I should live for. In the end, I couldn't find anything worth boasting to you about, but I have figured out one thing I'd like to do. If you'd like to hear what it is, then stop by the hideout whenever. Raka. Thank you for the head pats, much appreciated. Okay, it's early morning, which means it's time to check on our animals. Hello, irradiated rat, welcome, welcome. And thank you so much for the follow earlier, much appreciated. Okay, how's everyone doing on food? Okay, they've still got six. 
I think the chickens might be a little lower. Yeah, they're a little lower on food. That might be something we go pick up in town. Okay. These all need watering. I should probably go check the... Um, I feel like I want to check the seed store in Arjean, because I don't know that we actually got any chili plant seeds. And those are important, because they grow in wintertime. And not much else does. Okay, those are all good. Do we have anything that's ready to harvest? Nope, fruit trees are still growing in. Grapes are doing nothing in wintertime. We really don't have a lot, do we? Huh. Okay, I know we don't have anything over at the, um... Actually, let me double check my seeds, just to be safe. Spring, fall, fall, spring, spring, summer, summer. Wow, we really have no winter crops, huh? We'll change that today. Okay, that's getting sold. That's getting sold. So we're all of these. Oh, I got nothing to make juice with. Unless, well, I could take some fruit out of storage. That's something I could do. Okay, what kind of juice do we want? Probably more uh, Cosmo powder juice. Uh, that sounds bad. I don't want the horribly irradiated space protein shake. Sounds like a bad time, honestly. Um, okay. Let's make more grape juice. That'll be good. Okay, let's go check in on our other biomes. It doesn't even let me grab the withered crops here, which is kind of rude. Oh, right, we can't even use the biomes in wintertime. I am so smart, y'all. That's the thing about me, is I'm the smartest cat in existence. Okay, well that makes it easy. Uh, let's see. We do have one side quest over in Arjun, so let's do that. We gotta go to the Silent Cave. I am such a smart cat, thank you for understanding. in the cave. There we go. <laughs> okay, one sec. I'm gonna take a quick drink. Oh, that's real good. The caramel apple tea is real nice just because it's not like... It's not overly sweet, but it's got... It goes into Silent Cave. Sounds playing. Look be like that sometimes. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, the caramel apple tea is not like overly sweet, but it's got some real good flavor notes. Um, it's got like cinnamon and, and caramel and it's real, real nice. It's just a subtle sweetness. Get out of here. Oh god. Why, why did you paralyze me? That's so rude of you actually. Don't do that shit. Gotta keep forgetting. We're playing Rune Factory and Harvestella at the same time, obviously. But the lock-on buttons are different for each. So I keep trying to hit the Rune Factory lock-on button, and it's not doing anything for me, shockingly. Get out of here with that. Get spinnies. Oh, you're weak to that. Good. 
Not that I can use it again, because it's on cooldown, but... Let's see. How do we use this? Ooh. I want to get some job points on Samurai, because that seems like it's going to be a fun class to use. Get out of here. Got that 14 Samurai cast bar, truly. At least it doesn't give us tinnitus when we use our abilities. Because that's truly the best part of 14 Samurai. You'll just hit a button, and then for three seconds you get to watch a cast bar in here. Oh god. I meant to do that. Rami. The path of the blade is one that is fraught with hearing loss, unfortunately. us, like, good amounts of job points, though? I've never been able to figure out if enemies give a set amount of job points or if they scale based on level. So hi, Clary. How's it going? Let's start by looking around here. Watch out for monsters. Remember the last time we were here, we got ambushed. I will. Don't worry about me. I might not look it, but I can hold my own in a fight. You'll be honest, you never checked either. I mean, who knows about the systems in this game. I was aiming to be a missionary, remember? Yeah, and now you're violating people's privacy on the regular. You don't find any clues. Still nothing. Maybe you were too late after all. Come on, don't give up. There must be something around here. We can't give up now or it's all over. Oh? Hey, Purcellin, come over here. Look at this. Something must have been burning here. Probably a bonfire. That means someone was here? It might not be too late. Let's keep going inside. Okay. Oh, get... No. None of this. I'm not here for that. Let's do whatever this is. Probably a Shrika side story. Yep. I've been waiting, Purcellin. This is where the letter told me to wait. Let's remain vigilant. You're right. I won't let my guard down. So you came after all. I know that voice. Oh god, of course it's Sides. Right? Yup. Called it. There's Sides? What is this about, Sides? Don't tell me you were suddenly overcome with worry. Would you believe me if I did? Unfortunately, I wouldn't. Which can only mean... It was you who wrote the letter, wasn't it, Cites? Yep. I'm the anti-mother ringleader. What's your aim? I have one aim. I did everything for Shrika. What did you just say? I created the sect of the Anti-Mother in order to release you from the Order. With the Seas Light Order in ruins, you could quickly rid yourself of it for good. Oh my god. Men will create an entire splinter sect of the Church rather than go to therapy. 
I'm afraid I don't understand. You wanted to free me from the Order? Why would you say that? You and I both follow the Sea's Light Order. The Holy Mother. Normal fucking behavior. <laughs> it's all a hoax. It's been burdening you for so long. You risk your life for the Order and for nothing. Why would you say that? I've known the truth behind the Order for so long. I knew that no religion had any worth. Okay, buddy. You can tell us about your opinions on religion another time. But answer me now, Cites. Why did you make the sect of the Anti-Mother? Surely you're aware of how much damage they've caused the Holy Capital. Screw the Capital. Cites. The only thing that matters to me is you, Shrika. Oh, buddy. Sir. This ain't it. I named myself the leader of the sect of the anti <laughs> We're going full incel. No. Oh. Thersites, you had such a good design, too. Why did you do this? The reality is that there is no leader. How can that be? All I did was tell some people behind or tell some people the truth behind the order, as a rumor. Everything that followed was created by those who listened. My only role was giving those who doubted the Holy Mother and the Order a place to go. You mean to say you didn't incite their actions? That's right. Something like the sect of the Anti-Mother was bound to happen sooner or later. Twisting the capital into chaos was that easy. Everyone was just looking for a place to vent. Buddy. You're still in the wrong here. I agree. You may not have had a direct hand in the events that followed. But that doesn't absolve you of any blame. Shrika, open your eyes. Subscribe to my subreddit. Pull at a single thread of the Order's or any religion's teachings and it will fall apart so quickly. Ah uh, yes, the Arjean Discord vent channel. <laughs> no! Humans are idiots. How many times have you and I been witness firsthand to that truth? Lordy, uh-huh. I disagree. No matter how difficult things get, humans have the strength to overcome that adversity and move forward. You're wrong. Humans foist their egos onto others, pulling others back to give themselves the illusion of forward momentum. Those who sacrifice themselves for that fallacy can never be saved. This guy? Yeah, he's oh, just like you, Shrika. Pardon? Come with me, Shrika. Let's leave the Order and start over somewhere else. Oh, bud. Living that old cursed life was surely better than living as a human sacrifice for the Order. Let's go back to the way things were. Sides. I'm gonna remain silent and watch it unfold. Shrika can take care of herself. She's proven that time and again. I remember when she killed the Pope. I'm sorry, Sides. I cannot go with you. Hello, Soy. Welcome, welcome. Is Shrika gonna eat this man whole? But why? Everything I did was for you. <gasps> Let's go, girly! We're gonna do another murder. I'm sorry. I cannot agree with your way of thinking. Shrika! Violence. Extreme violence. As a missionary of the Order, I am placing you under arrest. We will speak more on this later. You have us muted because you're in PE class. Fair enough. So that's how it's going to be. That's a shame. Thank you for coming by to say hi. I appreciate it. Purcell and close your eyes. Remember this, Shrika. 
when the truth of the order comes to light, you will regret your decision. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna feel ashamed of our words and deeds here. He ran away. He's already gone. He must have planned his escape in case I chose not to accept his invitation. I don't know what to say. Sides was pulling the strings the whole time. And here I thought I'd be able to put an end to the anti-mother. This hurts. It does. I'll just have to... No, actually. I feel like all of the energy has been drained out of me. That's what he thought he was going to say, right? Excuse me. I'd like to end this here today. I need to organize my thoughts. Oh, girly. You know, it's never a good feeling when you learn that about someone who you thought was a trusted friend. Pilgrim's Bondstone. Oh! Well, now we can unlock more Pilgrim abilities. Yay! Oh! Do we have enough? <gasps> we have enough for the Pilgrim ult. Hey, sorry about your incel friend, but I, I, I just learned my capstone ability, so it's all good. Oh, did I miss this? I sure did. Trust lettuce seeds. Maybe you can help your incel friend with beams. Uh huh. That's how these things work. Okay. So they're on the lower level. Can I just drop down through here? Yeah. There we go. Let's see what the beams look like. Holy shit. I like that. I do love beams. <laughs> Forgiveness, wrong. Field that deals lightning damage over time. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'll do my best. I love playing a DPS Sage. Hello? Is anyone there? If you're there, Mr. Levin, please answer us somehow. Anyone? Did you just call me? Hello? Are you looking for me? Yes, you're Mr. Levin, right? That's me. But how? We heard what happened to you from Rhodium and decided to come out and look for you. I see. So he made it to Arjean then. We're glad you're alive. Even I'm surprised that I've survived this long. I thought I was a goner. After Rhodium left, I somehow managed to fight off the whole pack of monsters. But in the midst of the fight, rocks kept getting broken off from the cave, and before I knew it, I was caved in. I see. So you couldn't get out. I'm impressed you two could find me. I had already accepted that I was going to die in here. Oh, buddy. Well, I've actually been here before, not too long ago. During that incident? It might be because my life was in danger at the time, but I vividly remember what this area looked like. Oh, uh, Clary? Clary? Girly? We call that a trauma memory. And you should go to therapy. And that wasn't here last time. The bonfire. Ah, the bonfire. So that's what led you to me. Yes. And when I saw the bonfire, that's when I knew you were still alive. Well, that's quite impressive. 
Any normal person probably wouldn't have thought much of it. But thankfully, you did, and you found me. Thank you. It's still too early to thank me. Let's get you back to Arshin first. <laughs> Everyone in this game needs so much therapy, it's true. Will you take me there? Of course. Let's go back to Arjean, Purcellin. Rodim is waiting at the inn. Sure, we'll do that. There we go. Nope, that's the wrong... the wrong panel. There we go. Utsutsemi... Shiden 2... Okay. Let's see. Do we actually have a way to get there quicker? I don't think we do. Unless I were to, like, monolite home, but I don't really want to do that. Don't mind me eating raw meat, it's fine. It's healthy. It's a tasty little snack. I get out of this damn cave. I say, as I get out of this damn cave. And I think we should still have time enough to visit the general store in Arjean, which is where we will get the seeds that we need. Yeah, it's only 3 p.m. We're golden. So, do I have any food to turn in? I don't think I do. Okay, yeah. Super spicy hot pot, some on winter spicy fish, ice cream, meat with herbs and spices, Irish and cabbage stew, herring and a fur coat. Okay. Hello, I'm here to complete a quest. Levin, you're alive. I'm glad you're alright. I'm sorry for abandoning you. No need to apologize, Rodeum. I'm still here, aren't I? That's all that matters. Yeah. I'm so happy for you both. I'm glad it all worked out. Words can't express how grateful I am to you both. Thank you. I owe you too. You saved my life. I just did the right thing, that's all. Purcellin, our work here is done. Let's give them some space. Hey, Clarie, are you going to stop being weird about the confessional now? Maybe. That makes one more problem solved. Great job, Purcellin. You did most of it. Well, I appreciate you coming with me. I'm so glad I could help someone out one last time. Today was my last day working in the confessional. Girl, you can find other ways to help people that don't involve violating their privacy. At least I can say I stuck to my principles till the very end. I don't know where they'll put me next. But wherever it is, I will continue to do what I think is right. That's my policy. There you are, Clary. Brother, what are you doing here? I've been looking for you everywhere. I have important news for you. 
Oh, are they gonna let her keep working at the confessional? Are you officially firing me from the confessional? It's fine, brother. I knew this would happen. You did? Well, that makes things easier. I'll get over it, I'll get it over and done with then. Sister Clary, I hereby dismiss you from your role in the confessional with immediate effect. And appoint you instead to the counseling room. The counseling room? Why didn't we send her there in the first place? Your duty is to listen to people's problems and act accordingly to resolve them. In other words, you're allowed to help them now. Really? But why? We were originally planning to return you to your regular duties. But some priests objected to that. Really? You mean some people believed in what I was doing? However... We couldn't revoke your dismissal without fair grounds. So the discussion changed into how we could create a new office for you to run instead. You mean they created the counseling room just for me? Also add starting in about a minute, chat, just so y'all are aware. We hadn't told you this, but the temple has been receiving... Or rather, you have been receiving... A great deal of letters and gifts from the people of Arjean, thanking you for your help. With that big pile of letters, it wasn't hard to convince the higher-ups to give you the new position. Wow. Someone even went so far as to convince the higher-ups for me. I wonder if it would do such a thing. The person may be right in front of you, Curly. Are you serious? No way! Now, now, it's never paid for a priestess to be too curious. Thank you, brother. Don't think you can do whatever you want just because you have your own office now, though. Uh, two brain cells, big heart. Uh-huh. No getting carried away, all right? Yes, brother. I will bear that in mind. Very well. You start tomorrow. Take it easy today. I'm so happy for you, Clarie. Yeah, I'll do my best. I will continue to help people the best way I know how, following my own policy. Thank you for everything, Priscilline. You know where to find me if you ever need help with your problems. Girl, I'm not going to church. I mean, I appreciate it, but you're not getting me in there. To keep me warm... Oh, a new recipe. And some gold ore. Okay. Braca's in there. We're gonna leave him for now. Um, and check on the general store first. What do we got? Oh, potatoes grow in winter. Okay. Let's get some potatoes. And then... Pretty sure we're already growing some... Cabbages, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, chili plant. That's what we need. Why are they so expensive? Many potatoes. Is good hearty crop for winter time. Potato soup actually sounds really good right now. Okay, we'll go talk to Braca. And then I think what we're gonna do is go and plant our stuff, and then maybe go grind in that last dungeon a little bit. Thanks for coming, Purcellin. Oh, you're here as well. Didn't expect to see you, Dianthus. I asked her to come. Anyway, you've gone to some lengths in finding me. 
What is this regarding? You said you had a question for me. That's right. I have a question about the Hallowed that an omen may have the answer to. About the Hallowed? Uh, I guess asking Dianthus is a great idea, given everything we know. I've been putting some thought to it. About what to do next. What I want to do next. What I can do next. Not that I've found the answer yet. I'm still trying to figure that part out. But for now, I thought I'd try to find out more about the Hallowed. I dedicated my entire life to hunting one in particular, but I don't know a thing about the Hallowed in general. So, getting buddy-buddy with someone who might seem... who might seem like too good an opportunity to pass up. Just a moment. What are you getting at? Purcellin, you seem to know something about this. Explain yourself. So Bracca was out for revenge. Now I understand. You wanted revenge on a hallowed. Yeah, but sadly some other wretch got to them first. The hallowed is already dead, you mean? Well, that's a blessing. What are the hallowed to you? While not a personal inconvenience, I know the omens have had their share of trouble dealing with them. I could give two shakes about the omens' problems. I'm just here to learn what I can about the Hallowed. I don't much care for your arrogance, but you're going to give me trouble if I refuse. Is that right? Very well. If my personal accounts are enough, then I will share them with you. Thanks, Dianthus. Bracca could learn a thing or two from your obedience, Purcellin. What? I... I said thank you. <sighs> Whatever. For expediency's sake, why don't you begin by telling me how much you know about the Hallowed? Uh, just that they exist. And you, Bracca? Look, those are some big heels Dianthus is wearing, just saying. That they devour people. That they possess high intelligence and peculiar strength. And that a particular type of ore is required to kill one. A weapon like this is the only way to really do any damage. Yeah, that's about it. So, about as much as I predicted. Dianthus? Answer me one thing. You said before that the omens were struggling with the Hallowed, too. That's right. It is an inconvenience that they devour Abel at their own discretion. So, the omens and the Hallowed aren't working together? Absolutely not. Allow me to clear that misconception. The Hallowed were created by this star. They were born of the Sea's Light. Uh, what do you mean by that? We got crystal vampires? That's pretty cool. You could think of them as something of a natural disaster. Puh, a natural disaster? Don't make me laugh. Also, they're primals. Never mind. You're trying to tell me what happened to my village was the result of a natural disaster? No, the fault still lies with the Hallowed. Braca, calm down. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Anything else? They must have some other distinguishing characteristics. That's all I can tell you. The hell? I think you misunderstood the question. I wasn't just asking where the Hallowed came from. Yet, combined with what you already know, your understanding of the Hallowed is now the same as mine. Well, that was anticlimactic. But it's good information to have. Thanks, Dianthus. I'm glad I was of some assistance. Has this changed your mind at all? Nope. I'm now more lost than ever. Here, take this. I don't need it anymore. Oh, 
Do you receive a holy rifle from Braca? Are you sure about this? Trash it. Sell it. I don't really care. You can even give it to some other poor schmuck hellbent on revenge. You no longer intend to fight the Hallowed. You said they're natural disasters. Not much us humans can do to stop those from happening. Braca, she compared them to natural disasters. Do you have a grasp of metaphor, my boy? Besides, I only wanted to kill that one in particular. I don't really care what happens to the rest. I see. He is in his whiny boy era, it's truly. Very, very true. Hello, Millie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Completely devoid of purpose. What will you do with it? The gun, I mean. I'll look after it for now. <laughs> Thank you, Millie. Until Braca asks for it back, you mean. There are few weapons in the world like that which can destroy the Hallowed. Do take good care of it. Only this gun can kill them? To be more precise, only weapons made of a particular ore, like that gun, which the Hallowed are susceptible to. You don't believe me? Then how was that other man able to destroy Amadeus, you ask? Purcellin. That Moldor person had best remain vigilant. Got it. Hope you are having a good day so far, Millie. Always good to see ya. Hallowed's true form. Okay. Got the final bond stone for the, uh, the gun class. Okay. So, I think we're gonna head back to the farm real quick. Plant what we've got. And do a little bit of grinding on, um... The orbital cradle. Return home. Also, I think we have the, uh... Yes! The all-quest Snarjean panel. Let's go. Okay. I don't think I've found moon fruit seeds, have I? I I think I would remember if I had. Okay. Uh that goes in storage. This is all storage. These are for selling apparently. Which I think means I'm done with all side quests in the major cities. These are getting sold. Oh, I... I guess I can get feed for uh, the livestock tomorrow. That's not super pressing. My work is pretty good wing exercise. Oh, I was growing chili plants. I'm so smart, y'all. You are on a quest? Oh, do tell. Bam! Okay, let's see. These are getting planted. Trying to track down your box with your chair in it. Oh. A very important quest. I wish you the best of luck with it. Okay, we've got... Potatoes to plant still. We have all this field space over here that we're not using. Number one 
speciality. Girl, same. Okay, let's get all these watered. And then we are good to head to space for a little bit, I think. Let me put those lettuce seeds in storage, because I don't think we can use them right now. Yeah, we cannot. Spring, summer, and fall. Alas. Maybe I'll check up on Lost Guy and see if they have moon fruit se uh, seeds or saplings or whatever, because I don't think I've seen moon fruit at all. Take me to the orbital cradle. We got fighting to do. Sure, we'll go to Imperial. We'll probably be fine, right? And if we're not, then uh, then we will have learned. There's gotta be stuff to fight somewhere. Right? Well, of course, now when I want to find enemies, they're not gonna be anywhere. Hmm, excuse me. This is fine. Out of here with that. I love how he just like shuffles in. It's very good. Stop that. Cease. Thank you. God, I forgot I need. I can't even attack without stamina. Uh, well, that was short lived. Guess we're grinding tomorrow, because I don't want to waste any of my food items. It's fine, we got time. I will return home and cook. Let me cook. Okay. Do I have anything new that I can make? That's my big question. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I can! I can make this. The Pollock and Roblini. Which is not a turn-in recipe, but it is new. Oh, those look tasty. Bite-sized savory pancakes topped with smoked chili pollock and red leaf or other herbs of your choice. Gotta make some canapes for our boss fight. It's very important. Okay, what else do I want to make? Oh, this is... This is a turn-in dish. We can't... If I make it, we won't be able to use it, though, because I'll have to go turn it in. But I guess that's not the worst. Um, let me see. Oh, I can make this. Like the clam soup. Do I have anything else I want to make? Make more clam soup. Okay. Don't have any high quality sea bream, but that's fine. I'll just make another one of these. It is foods time. I gotta I gotta load up on food for this this boss fight. It's very important. Let's see. 
Hi, Moomin. Can I help you? Come here, bud. We have been joined by the Moomin. Very briefly. Possibly. We'll see if he wants to be good and, like, chill in my lap. I don't know what he's gonna do. Hi. What you up to, buddy? Okay. He's decided he does not want to chill in my lap. He will, however, hang out on the arm of my chair and bother me. But I would rather you didn't. Crafting. Okay. We have so much food. I think that's good. Level 54. Okay. We did not make much money today, but we are also regrowing all of our crops, so... It's fine. Don't worry about it. What now, Braca? What fresh hell is this? You've got to do something. It's Braca. It looked like his spirits were picking up a little the last time you stopped by, but it seems like he's back to square one again. Honestly, I can't see him like this anymore. There ain't nothing I can do about it, but maybe there's something you can do to help him? Okay. Well, he's got to go to therapy first, but... It wasn't without meaning. I do what I do because I wish to lend my strength to those in need. And so, I always thought that I was being rather smug when I said I never considered repayment. However, this past event has taught me I was wrong to ever think that, and I can't believe how blessed I am. I will continue to reach out to those in need, because that is the justice I believe in. From Clarie. I hope she has a long and successful career. Okay, we're going to be out of um, food for those guys very soon, unfortunately. I've been over here? <gasps> oh, I've not. I guess I just couldn't get here until it was winter time. Sunstone, what does that do? Earns you money when shipped. Oh, okay. I like money. Do I need a water stop today? It kind of looks like things are just... I guess snow counts as rain, technically? Think up, lovelies. I think? Think up, lovelies. It does, okay. We don't need to water our stuff today, that's good. Okay, we have apples ready to harvest. We got more Mikan. Well, let's make some orange jam. That sounds good. Make some apple juice. Gonna clean up more polluted earth. Okay, well, let's see. You get sold, or not sold, you get stored. We have so many apples. I don't need more apples. These are all getting sold. Okay. Gonna save. Because I think what I want to try to do right off the bat is see if we can take on the Harbinger. It might be a terrible idea. We might lose horribly again. However. However. Hear me out. What if we win, though? That's it. That's the strategy. The strategy is don't lose. I 
I believe in us. And I will be skipping the dialogue again. Because we... We did see all of it multiple times. I'm still very, very upset that it doesn't just let us skip this scene. We're gonna try. I know, Arya. Girls will get one floor-length black dress with accompanying gold accessories and think that they are now the harbinger of the end times. I didn't notice her gloves. Those are good, too. It is a good outfit. I'll give her that. And here's the thing. If this doesn't work, then we, just, we can just grind a little bit. Girl, I don't want to fight you. At least we get the very cool boss theme. Oh god, I didn't realize those no cables were like directly hooked into her. Stop me. If you refuse to understand, then I will have to wake you up to the truth. Arya means business. You want to try a break? None of this. Their sacrifice. I can't let it all be for nothing. Okay, that's good. Maria, please stop fighting. <laughs> no, nope, none of that. I think what I need to do is just bait out her attacks and not wait until stuff is coming out. Or, yes, wait until stuff is coming out before I attack. Yeah, like this. We might make this happen. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna heal up to soon. I didn't. Okay, that's a break. Thank you. Oh, none of that. Thanks. There's that. Get that set up. Stop whatever you're doing. I want no part of it. Okay. We're getting there. We're, we're gonna take it slow. I wish that she didn't break lock on whenever she did that. It's very annoying. Sure. 
There is no other way. There's definitely another way, I promise. Okay, let's go. She does it twice now that we're in phase two, right? I think. Yep, she does. I'm so smart. I've learned the patterns. Okay, heal up. Stop that. Rude. Out of your way, don't you worry. Okay, well, that's a little rude. Yep, just twice. Okay, we got a break. That's good. Come here, friend. I do got this, I think. Uh, my party members stopped dying on me. I really thought we were going to have time to interrupt that, but I guess not. I'm out of your way. Nope, you don't gotta. Okay, I'm not going to get greedy. Okay, we got a break. Oh god. I got greedy. It's fine. Ow. Rude. Come here, Arya. Come on. Let's fucking go. We did it. Beautiful. Also, I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention the upcoming ad chat. Come on, Arya, get up. I can't be beaten here. Please stop. I don't want to fight with you anymore. Take a quick drink, one second. I won't lose this battle. I'll fight to the death if that's what it takes. I won't be defeated. Is that the light from the monolite? What's happening? The monolite is out of control. Victory, Sippy. Yes, truly. I must protect them. Ah! Girly. Arya, stop! Don't take this too far. I am not Arya. I am the Harbinger. My purpose is to protect Lost Gaia. I will fight for that as long as I'm alive. Oh, slow walk through the attack waves. Let's go, please. Purcellin, don't. She's no longer the Arya you knew. She will kill you. 
No, she won't. Because I'm going to do the protagonist slow walk up to her, and then I'm going to hug her, probably. Don't touch me! Purcellin! It's no use, Purcellin. You're going to die. I can still get up. Don't bother. Your consciousness is fading. You don't have the strength to get back up again. Is this how it ends? I mean... It's Arya, by the way. It's my name. You guys have those, right? We cannot sacrifice the lives of so many. If you truly believe that is a noble or proper death, then science... No, then the human heart has failed. Purcellin, you're right. We can't be certain it's all true. Besides, it's not like me to give up, is it? Oh, this is good. Arya is the only original human left from Earth. She must be lonely. That's not true. She has given up on everything. And all she really wants is to destroy the world. You're wrong. This part is great. It's... I'm very much enjoying this. Arya is your enemy. No, she's not. In that case... Then start thinking what it really is you want to do. I want to talk to Arya one more time. Oh? This is different. Okay. I haven't seen this in a while. I think this is the beach where we're like we started the game. Save Arya. Are you here to save Arya? I'm not sure. You're confused too, huh? Think about it though. Can you really save her? Do you understand the weight she's carrying on her shoulders? Of course not. You need to know more about her past. The no music is definitely a choice.
Arya, you see... Well, she's been fighting from the start. Right on the front line of humanity. And now for a speech from the head of the project. I am Arya Leventhal, your project leader. The world is facing the greatest turmoil in history, and we scientists are rising to this unprecedented challenge. This is war, a life or death war for humanity. Whether we survive to continue our history or not depends on this project. But I believe, I believe that we will complete this challenging investigation I believe that there is value in continuing the human race. But above all, I believe in our team. I am still young. I may not have the same knowledge or experience as all of you. But my determination does not waver. That is what it means to be a scientist. To pursue knowledge and keep fighting for a better future. Good for her. Oh no. We gotta save her from Evangelion episode 26. We have to do this. If I look dispirited, then everyone else will want to give up too. Girly just snapped and like, fair, uh-huh. Turns out, uh, the future of humanity is kind of a big burden to place on the shoulders of a 20-something girl. So, I'm the one person who must never give up. Isn't that right, Arya? Arya was humanity's hope. She may have even been that way since birth. You saw how her era ended, didn't you? Arya Leventhal was a beacon of light, an idol that humankind clung to in the face of extinction. Arya shed blood, sweat, and tears to live up to their expectations, making her name as a great scholar at a very young age. Arya tried her best to be tough, and to stop making excuses for her weaknesses. And now you want to deny her that way of life? It's not like that. You're not good at knowing when to give up. Go on ahead if you think you can convince Arya out of her plans. But your words won't get through to her. Even you should finally give up when you realize that. You know what, creepy child? I will convince her. Oh, this is... This is gonna be a cutscene, huh? How you doing, Arya? I'm normal about this. Don't you purr tea at me. I'm gonna drink some tea right now. Shush. Arya is still and silent. Arya. She has closed her heart. No one's words will get through to her now. But you have a feeling. You 
that you're holding on to Arya's words. The slow text crawl is real good. You hold up Arya's diary. That's my diary. Oh, so you had it. I love weird JRPG bullshit, y'all. This diary is the memory of my battle. The memory of how I wish to save everyone. And how all of their hopes rested on me. That is why I have to take responsibility for the end of this planet. I rid myself of my weakness and indecision. This is too much to take on by yourself. But I'm not like you. I'm your enemy, can't you see? That's not true. Oh, please, don't give me that playing the bigger person act. This is my duty. There is no other way around it. It's not your duty. But I have to. If I don't, it will all go to waste. I have no other choice left. I am not the Arya you knew anymore. She is dead. I am the world's enemy. Oh man. These are all good. I don't... Ugh. Well, you're still Arya. You'd still say that even now? You truly are strange. Tell me your true feelings. Me? Purslan, don't. I don't want to start doubting because of such trivial things. I won't make progress that way. I can't be so weak. So I'm... It's okay to be weak. What do you really want, Arya? Purslin. I... The truth is, I didn't want any of this. Everyone from Earth, and all of you on Rigaya. You're both important to me. So please... Purslin, help me. I will, don't worry. Let's go, we gotta free our girly. That's the shit I do like. Oh, JRPGs, baby. Arya.
I'm glad you're back. I'm glad to be back. Thank you, everyone. I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Now you're too meek. I can't keep up. Yeah, Arya, that look doesn't suit you. We like the good old confident Arya. Now we're back to normal. You didn't cause us any trouble. It goes both ways. Whatever. Braca! Boy, I will walk over there and shake your stupid coat until you show some emotional vulnerability. Thank you all. Geist, stop the proto descent. Understood. The little smirk, though, yep. Deactivating proto sees light descent sequence. We're back to square one now. There is no way around it. As planned, Arya's authority is now considered transferred to Purcellin. Geist, what are you talking about? The situation will wait for no one. Hereafter, the survival of the human race will be decided by the notion of survival of the fittest. The strong survive and the weak die out. It is the principle of natural selection that is repeated in all living beings. I wasn't trying to gain authority. But you have already interfered in humanity's future. You are in too deep to back out now. Yet you do not want to take responsibility for that? Do you intend to leave the decision to someone else? You have proven your authority by being the only one capable of persuading Arya, the only Cain. That's not true, Geist. Purcellin, take no notice of him. That is easy for you to say. You vanished from the Collective and deserted our ambition. Regardless, we will get a decision from Purcellin whether she likes it or not. Come this way. I took the liberty of locking the door behind you. There is no going back. Oh. Chapter 8, A Noble Despair Complete. Do I get to save? Yes, okay. So from what I know, I want three saves? Question mark? Oh, okay. Uh... So this is what it's come to. Purcellin, the world's fate is in your hands. I won't blame you whichever decision you make. You're only trying to do the right thing and take responsibility after all. Geist was a bit too forceful, but I understand what he was saying. You can't deny that the world relies upon survival of the fittest. It happens every day on Regaia. Even in such a seemingly peaceful world, there are always some getting sifted out. But we come to terms with it because it's a law of nature. It's not something that we're supposed to enforce for ourselves. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna fucking go for it. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna do the damn thing. Geist? Chapter 9. What Falls from the Heavens. Oh boy. 
Do you see it? You humans seem to find this globe beautiful. To us, it is just another astronomical body. Nothing more than an ark for humanity to live on. Now then, it is time for you to make the decision. Which species of human should live within Heaven's shell and advance their kind into the future? I will remind you that there are two options. Your first option is the Canes. They are our lost race, who rose and fell alongside the planet Earth during the Common Era. Since the Regaia project was their creation, you Abels are their children in a sense. Your other option is the Abels. That is your kind. They are a race that evolved from Regaia and are almost biologically identical to the Canes. You must already know enough about them. I will make it clear one last time. You can only choose one. Should the Canes survive? Or the Abels? Oh boy. Make your choice on this console. All right, well, we've present, we've been presented with an impossible decision. Um, which means I'm gonna go, actually. Uh, oh. Wait right there. Are you trying to renounce the decision? Yes, actually. You're not gonna make me choose. Do not be absurd. Now come back here and make a decision. This decision is absurd. Excuse me? The survival of humanity rests upon this decision, Purcellin. Why do you refuse to understand that? You humans must ensure your continuation by making this precious sacrifice. Is it worth surviving at such a cost? Purcellin, enough of your useless arguments. Quietus is growing ever nearer to engulfing the whole planet as we speak. We have no time to waste. Purcellin, do the right thing. Now choose. Choose! God, is it? It's not. It's not letting me back out. Um. Maybe I needed to select that. I, I picked wrong, now I'm locked in. Okay, I figured, I was like, do I need to pick the, uh, the ends don't justify the means? <laughs> Sorry. I'm reloading. I didn't, I didn't want to lock myself into that. It's okay, this time for sure. Look, this is, a, this is a weighty decision. It's important. Oh no, you locked yourself in without saving? Oof.
or rather with only having one save file. My condolences. Okay, it's still not letting me skip. That's fine. Um, one sec. We have an ad coming up in like a minute and a half, so I'm just going to run that now while we skip through dialogue. That way it will not block the rest of everything. We're stalling for time. It's fine. Okay, I don't know how, how long the scenes after this are going to be, so I'd rather run the ad now than do a five-minute snooze and risk the ad just coming up at a bad time again anyway. Listen, it's important. Okay, we only got like 30 seconds left on that ad, so... Perfectly timed. Bye. For what it's worth, you ended up saving the Ables. <gasps> yeah, I would have done that too. Yes. I'm renouncing the decision. The decision is absurd. Get the hell out. The end doesn't justify the means. Enough of your useless arguments. Quietus is growing ever nearer to engulfing the whole planet as we speak. We have no time to waste. Do the right thing. Now choose. Choose! Oh my god, it doesn't let me... What? Did I pick wrong again? Uh... No. Ursula, you must understand the situation by now. Your efforts to resist it are futile. There is no other way. If you can think of one, then please share it. We should rid Regaia of Quietus. There we go, okay. Why won't you understand that humanity has no future as long as you keep chasing that dream? I didn't think you were this unreasonable. All we Seth want is to save you. Why don't you understand that? You humans made the decision to hand over this level of power to us after long consideration and reflection over your own actions. After failing repeatedly to avoid conflict amongst yourselves, you felt you were not fit to be in charge of your own continuation. You felt that only a higher intelligence could manage your enigmatic race, which would rather harm one another than try to see eye to eye. That is how humanity willingly handed over their decisions to us. And we have worked alongside you as your neighbors, doing our very best for you. But never mind. I suppose that is still not enough for you to approve of a massacre. If that is how you feel. Oh, good. Emergency, emergency. The Gestalt Sphere has been invaded. This may corrupt the collective consciousness. All Seth, please switch to standalone mode. An invader in our collective? 
Persilin, what have you done? What is going on, Dianthus? Wasn't it your doing? Then why has the Proto Descent sequence been reactivated? It. What? It's true, Geist. The Proto Seas Light Descent operation has been reinstated. But who would have. Nivalis is now identifying the source of the orders. Dianthus, can you hear me? Nivalis, yes, I hear you. You're just in time. Have you identified the source of the orders? Yes, but... The orders are coming from within the proto Seas light. It's activating the sequence itself. What? Have you got that right, Nivalis? Are you saying the Seas light has a will of its own? The Seas light has a will of its own. Oh good, we gotta go fight the Mother Crystal, baby! Everyone, calm down. We should be able to avert the crisis by shutting down the proto. Right, Nivalis? I'm afraid not. That doesn't seem to be working. The proto is heading for the, class the castle of illusion. It is dropping on our exact location. But that's not the trajectory that I plotted for it. It appears that the Seas Light has overwritten it of its own accord. Listen up, all of you. Here are the results of our simulation. If the proto Seas Light continues its trajectory and lands on the castle of illusion, then the neighboring towns Lethe and Chatola will be reduced to ruins. Nemea and Argin will not go unharmed either. On the other hand, if the Genesis Core gets destroyed, then the Seas Light may be forced to shut down. If that happens, then the conditions on land... Oh no... What if we took direct control? Arya? Sorry, guys. Girlie, what is you doing? Arya! Don't tell me. She is going inside the proto. That seems to be the case. She's attempting to manually divert the proto's trajectory from the inside. But the proto will fall at any moment. If Arya does not get out there in time, she'll go down with it. I gotta go help my girlie. Hey, wait! Not you too, Purcellin! We must. Please open. Yes, it's open. Arya! Huh? Purcellin? What the hell are you doing here? Following you, duh. Countdown complete. Commencing Proto Seas Light Descent. Shoot. Ouch, ouch. Seriously, what the hell were you thinking following me in here? You should have just left me to deal with it. Arya, we just had a big talk about not taking on everything by yourself. I got to you in time this time. This time, you are something else. Never mind. You're here now. Let's not waste time. The internal data is in the control center this way. Hurry, we don't have much time until we make impact. So this is the control center. And the 
this is the, tra the trajectory we're on? I see. I should still be able to change it. Do you think we still have a chance? It'll be a race against time, but there's still some hope. I need your help, Purcellin. If we can ignite the emergency boosters and change the proto's trajectory, we'll make a forced landing in the North Sea. If we can manage that, then at least Letha and the other villages should be okay for now. Got it. Let's start right away. I wish we could. Unfortunately, it looks like the proto's incomplete, and we can't control the boosters from here. What do we do now, then? I'll work something out, of course. I expected something like this to happen. If we can't control them from here, then our only other option is to ignite them ourselves. Okay, Purcellin, there are two emergency boosters. We have to set them both off at the same time to change our trajectory. I'll do one, and you do the other. Yours is through that door. Just keep going along the path and you'll see the booster. Mine is through this door. Let's give this our all. We are inside the Proto Seas Light. Purcellin, can you hear me? Reply to me if you can. I hear you. Okay, we have to set it up first. It's nothing too complicated, so you should have no problem keeping up. First, touch the console that's in there. Then all you have to do is follow the on-screen instructions and press the corresponding buttons. Okay, I'm all good to go on my side. Now, Purcellin, listen carefully. Once we set off the boosters, we won't have much time until impact. So as soon as it's done, run straight into the escape pod, okay? What about you, Arya? I will meet up with you later. Just make sure you hurry up, okay? All right, I'll leave the timing to you. Send me a cue when you're ready. Arya? Now! Girly, we are done with the self-sacrificing today. Forecasting trajectory. We did it! We changed the trajectory. Now run, Purcellin. Get into the escape pod. Can I go back for Arya? I don't think it's going to let me, but... She better be on her way here. Purcellin, can you hear me? That's the escape pod right in front of you. Please get in there, quick. Oh, we got a vocal track. Let's go. Boarding hatch closed. Commencing ejection sequence. Come on, Arya, get in here quickly. Song is a banger. It's good. Arya? I'm sorry, Purcellin. I'm afraid I can't come. What do you mean you can't come? I'm sorry, but there's more to it than just diverting the trajectory. Someone has to stay in here and dismantle some of the proto-parts afterwards. I'm the only one who can do that. And anyway, this was all my fault in the first place. I need to take responsibility for that. Purcellin, you go on and live. Live and end the planetary nightmare. Hey game, what the fuck? This is goodbye now. Thank you for everything. You're a wonderful person. Ejecting escape pod. Hi, Abso. We in it.
Arya Gurley. You hear me? Oh, it's Dianthus, okay. Got it. Arya, swear to God. If you're alive, I'm gonna find you and kill you again. Please respond, escape pod. Do you hear me? Please respond. There's still someone inside the proto. That's Persilin's voice. It's me, Dianthus. I don't know what exactly happened, but I understand you have escaped. I am coming to collect the pod. Hi, can we save Arya too, please? Pretty please? Arya stayed behind to disintegrate the pod, did she? Is she planning to sacrifice herself? I won't let that happen. I thought you would say as much. Pine, this is where you step in. Me? What is it? I'll do whatever I can to help. I will leave you in charge of steering for a while. You will be fine. All you have to do is to wreck the ship, and the machine will do the rest. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Persilin, you're coming with me to the deck. Are we going to jump onto a meteor? Let's fucking go. God, that's a cool fucking crystal. What a shot. She did it. The proto seas light is starting to break apart. Hain, get closer to the proto seas light and match its relative velocity. Now, Persilin, fire the flare. We gotta save our girly. Arya. This is what you wanted, isn't it, Arya? All of my actions led me to this point. And this is how it all ends. The rest is up to them. Huh? Is that a signal flare? It sure is, girly. You know what the fuck is up. Where did that airship come from? Wait, is that Purcellin? There are more fragments than I anticipated. I don't know if my energy field will be able to withstand this. This is crazy. There's too much debris. Dianthus, the ship isn't holding up. It's okay, girly. What are you doing? The whole airship will explode if you don't get away now. The proto won't wait for you no matter what you left in here. Don't tell me it's me you're looking for. Arya, what the fuck did you think we were gonna do? Realistically, girly. Unbelievable. How could someone be so selfless? I'm a protagonist, that's my job. The pot is reaching its limit too. I have no other choice but to go for it. <gasps> Are we gonna catch her? Let's go! 
We love a good skydive catch. Ursuline, I'm... Over here! It felt like you just heard Arya's voice. Arya's over there. Got it. Leave it to me. Let's go. Come on, come on, die for her. Yes. Oh, that's the good shit. We did it, y'all. This game is so good. Yup. Purcellin. You're too young to die. I've never met anyone quite like you. The proto seas light has landed. It appears to have caused only minimal damage to all areas. Well done, Persilin and Arya. You saved the planet. Pain, please withdraw from this airspace. All right. God damn, y'all. What a fucking video game. Chapter 9, What Falls from the Heavens Complete. We got closer with Arya. Arya's story has been opened. Break time conversations will happen from now on. I think we may be out of danger for now. So now what? With the subjugation of Geist's Paradise Project complete, there is only one thing left for us to do. Purge Quietus from the planet. <laughs> Could be fun. But how are we supposed to do that? You're right. We don't have any clues on how to go about it, do we? That's true. We followed Geist's rails to the outer reaches of the planet until now. Guess that means the rest is up to us. Although, I do wonder if we're really out of ideas. I want to think on it. I'd say we have some time to think. Agreed. But I can see you are fatigued. Let us part ways here for today. Okay, well... God damn. We're, we're gonna save here. Um... Is it still the same day? It sure is, huh? Yep. Cool. All right. Uh, I'd say that's significant story progress. You know, just just a bit. Um, let me kick us over to the chat screen, cause uh, God damn, what a video game, y'all. I think we just have the epilogue chapter left, if if I'm remembering correctly, but um. That was a lot of fun. Um, let me see who is online that we can toss people over to. Thank you all so, so much for coming by today. 
Um, this is an absolute blast. We will be back on Thursday morning with some more Rune Factory 5, which we are also approaching the end game for, um, which is wild to think about. We've been streaming those games for over a year now. Um, both of those, those have been like mainstays for cozy weeks for a hot second now. Um, and it's, it's cool to think that we've like kind of just gone through all of it together. Um, so thank you all. I, I really appreciate it. Um, let's go raid. Okay. We're going to go raid, um, Gao, the Sky Wolf, uh, cause it looks like they're streaming some Resident Evil 4 remake, which is appropriate for the month. So let me, yes, thank you for the raid message. Um, let me get that built. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me make sure I'm spelling their name correctly. There we go. Okay. I will see some of y'all for um, Rune Factory on Thursday. And until that point, I hope that you all have a wonderful and relaxing rest of your day. Take care, everyone.